Welcome to the topic on creating circles and arcs. In this tutorial, you will learn various options to create circles and arcs. You can draw a circle in AutoCAD using a number of options. When you click on the circle command at the drop panel, you will see a flyout wherein these options are displayed. Out of these options, the center radius is the most frequently used one. So I'll click on the center radius. It will ask you for the center point. The center point can be defined using any of the point definition methods. So I'll click on this node as a center point. Now it will ask you for the radius. I'll give 30 units as the radius. Next I'll draw a circle using center diameter method. Now I'll choose center diameter from this flyout and I'll define the center point using absolute coordinates. I'll give 140,50 as a center point. Now it is asking for the diameter. I'll give a diameter of 50 units. And this circle is drawn with the center diameter method. Next we will see two point. This option is used to construct a circle passing through any two points defined by the user. Suppose if I want to construct a circle passing through this node as well as through this node. So I've got such a circle connecting these two nodes. You can also give precise values to draw such a circle. I'll click on two point again and I'll pick on the first point on the circle here. Suppose if I want the diameter of the circle to be 60 units. I can define the second point using relative coordinates method. I'll give at the rate 60 comma 0. So the second point is defined 60 units horizontally rightward with respect to the first point. Now I'll pan the screen to make some space over here. Now let's try three point option. Three point is similar to two point and AutoCAD creates a circle passing through the three points defined by the user on the screen. I'll choose three point. I'll pick first point, second point and depending upon where you specify the third point, AutoCAD automatically adjusts the position of the circle in such a way that it passes through the three points. Suppose if I specify a point which is almost in line with the first two points, you might sometimes think that you have drawn a line instead of a circle. Let's see what has actually happened. Just double tap the scroll wheel of the mouse to get a zoom extent. Now you can see that this is a circle you have actually drawn. When you zoom in, you can see the points enlarged. Just give region command to regenerate the display. This was a circle you have actually drawn. Now I'll undo the operations I have done. Next I'll make a square. So I'll click on the rectangle command. I'll pick my first corner here and click on dimension option and give 100 for the length and 100 for the width. Next I'll go to three point option and pick the first point, second point and third point at the midpoint of the sides. This is how you inscribe a circle inside a square using the three point option. I'll pan the display some more to make some space and I'll create two lines by picking points. The next option to construct circle is tan tan radius. Using this option you can construct a circle tangential to any two existing objects. When I take this option I'll get a prompt that is specify a point on the object for the first tangent of the circle. That means I want the circle to be tangential to this line. Then it will ask you for the second object which is this line. Now you are prompted for the radius. I'll give 55 units as the radius. This particular circle is tangential to these two lines. In other words you can say these two lines are tangents to the circle. And how will you define the tangency between the line and a circle? At the contact point the radial line will remain perpendicular. The next option to construct a circle is called tan tan tan. Using this option, you can construct a circle tangential to any three existing objects. In order to demonstrate this, I'll draw three circles using center radius option. And I'll choose tan 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 option. So it will ask you for the first object, second and third objects. The moment you pick these three objects, you will get a unique circle which is tangential to these three circles. And how will you define the tangency between two circles? For that, I'll draw a line from this center to this intersection to this center. Now you can see that the radial lines passing through the contact point are collinear. Means it will lie along the same straight line. So that's all about the options to construct circles. Next we will move on to arcs. Arcs are nothing but portions of circles. In AutoCAD you can create an arc either by trimming or breaking a circle or you can create it directly. To create an arc you can use a number of options. As you can see here, you can use start point, end point, center point, radius, second point, included angle, code length and direction. But at a time, you don't need all these options. You can use any three out of these eight options 
and you can construct an arc using the available parameters. Combination of all these options are available in this menu. Simplest of all these options is three point. That means if you can specify three points, one, two and three, you can create an arc. And these points can be specified using any of the point definition methods which we have discussed before. I'll show you another example using start point, center point, end point. I can define the start point, center point as well as the end point. Depending upon where I pick my end point, I'll get a corresponding arc. If I choose start point, end point and direction for example, I can pick the start point and end point and I can show a proper direction. Depending upon where I point, I'll get the bulge of the arc in that particular direction. Another example is start point, end point, included angle. I can pick start point, end point and if I want to construct a semicircle, I should give an included angle of 180 degrees. Rest of the options are very simple and you can try these options on your own. If I click on continue, I can draw an arc from the end point of the most recently drawn arc. Again click on continue to continue drawing arcs. This option will be particularly useful to construct irregular shapes. In this tutorial, we have learned various options to create circles and arcs. In the next video, we will see methods to achieve precision in AutoCAD. Please click on the link provided at the description section of this video to join the WhatsApp group SabirCAD. You know that AutoCAD software has got wide range of applications in the area of engineering, architecture, product design, 3D printing, etc. And this WhatsApp group is a worldwide AutoCAD user group. You can support each other and you can get your queries answered. I can also help you to resolve your queries and enrich your knowledge in CAD. So do join this group by clicking on the link provided at the comment box. I once again request you to subscribe to my YouTube channel Sabir CAD where CAD training is made easy. Also don't forget to visit sabircad.teachable.com wherein AutoCAD 2D 3D is taught from basic to advanced project based. You can also learn 3D visualization using AutoCAD 3D, 3ds Max and Adobe Photoshop in this website. Once you enroll the courses, you will get lifetime account. Means there is no deadline or time limit to complete the courses. You will also get all future updations of lessons for free. You can get all your queries answered through WhatsApp chat and mail.